welcome <laughs> welcome back to another video <clears throat> by George truly Kakuso Akutawa it has been I have no idea it's been a lot of months since I left, recorded a video like this like a cooking video like yeah anyhow um, I have been through a lot of shit recently like I have been super depressed I am I probably like <clears throat> Like during these last few months, I've been at my highest and my lowest, and I'm still like kind of stuck in the lowest. Like ugh, my phone. Is like I have, I haven't done groceries in a while. I haven't been eating recently. Oh, this is aloe vera because I went to like climb a mountain and got really sunburned. So yeah, someone gifted me that. Thank you so much for that. And yeah, that's everything I have of food. Up here I have Logan Ma, rice, salt, pepper. That's it. That's all my food. I don't know. Depression. Anyhow, however, I need to get over that. And the first step is cooking. I need to get back into the habit of cooking. I just haven't cooked in such a long time. I've been eating one meal a day. Or sometimes I just go days without eating. And what I eat is like, I don't know, whatever I find at the combini. So, what I'll be needing for this receipt, let me show you, let me give you the lore. <clears throat> so, as many people may be aware, I love the United Kingdom. I love the United Kingdom. I love England. I would never wish harm for anything. <laughs> in the United Kingdom, I, it's such a nice nation, and because I love the United Kingdom so much, I want to try cooking some of their classic recipes. Recipes, and I'll be starting with the toast sandwich. So, according to Wikipedia, a toast sandwich is a sandwich in which the filling between two slices of bread itself is itself a thin slice of toasted bread, which may be buttered. An 1861 receipt says to add salt and pepper to taste. So, I will be cooking this. I got, wait, let me, this is such a mess, I'm gonna put my computer back in my desk because I don't want to drop it. Anyhow, back to this. Let me connect my phone, or I'm charging. So, <clears throat> I just went to the company and got myself some bread. What am I doing with my life? Anyhow, turning up the heat. Mm. Ah, I cannot open it with one hand. This is so. Right, it has been opened. So, for this receipt. I'll probably just be eating one because I don't have much appetite. Uh, I'm taking three, two for the bread and one for the toast. This is heating up. All right, here we go. I made you have a good toast. And now we just wait. And while we'll think, I don't know, maybe I'll rumble. I don't feel like rambling, I'll just get depressed. <laughs> like, uh. Bro, me recording a video at like 12 in the, like it's the middle of the night, it's pitch black outside, I'm just like recording myself toasting a bread to make a toast sandwich while being super depressed. <laughs> this is life. And I will start rambling about what makes me depressed, based. So, yeah, I just... Like, I don't want even to say it, I'm gonna cry. Like, the last few months of my life here in Japan have been the best moments in my entire life. Like, I swear, just for these last few months, living my life up until this point has been worth it. And yeah, I, that's why I haven't been uploading videos since I well. It's not because I've been like depressed this entire time, it's because I have just been like, Enjoying life, I've been spending my time with the people I want to and being really happy while doing so. Like, for the first time in my life, I was like glad 
so glad to have met the people I did, to have lived up until this point, to have like endured everything which I have endured of, up until this point in my life. And yeah, I am so thankful to that person. But everything that's good always has to come to an end. Like, so yeah, now I am alone in Japan. And I'm really sad because I was, well, I was, I'm still, I still need to sort out my feelings. I was so in love with this person, like for the first time in my life ever. I was just like genuinely in love. Like, I mean, I've had relationships before I fall in love, but like never to the point where I am like this. Like, I was just like thinking, like it became to the point where I like just like stopped to think. And I was like... I have never felt like this. I am like genuinely in love, like to say it like in a nicer, in more understandable way. I was just like, I don't know. I, I, I fell in love for the first time in my life, like genuine love, like genuine affection towards another person who is not a member of my family. So yeah, I cannot like thank that person enough. <sighs> like really, I just, I don't know, like, these memories are, like, will become, like, such a treasure to me, like, I know that I would be able to keep going with my life because of these moments, like, in between all this sadness and fear that is life, there are, like, a few moments of lucidity when you realize, yeah, all of that is worth it for the last, for the very little moments your life where you get to like experience true happiness as short as they may be they're worth it and yeah that's why life is worth it worth living and how the receipt like the bread has been toasted but the re recipe receipt re re recipe says that you can add salt and pepper to this so this is so fucked up what am i doing anyhow Salt and pepper, a lot of it. Now we put the cap, and here it is. Hey, Joe, looking great. Anyhow, I'm gonna make a cut here and go take pictures and then come back to do the taste test. All right, ready for the taste test. Uh, what time is it right now? L let me check. I said midnight, but I'm just like, I have lost the, like, I've, I've been so lost, I don't know like in which time I'm living. It's 11.37 in the afternoon in Japan. So yeah, I'm pretty sure she just got, she's, she just got a few hours ago or she's about to get at her country, like her plane. Uh, I'm so sad, but I'm so happy. I genuinely love her. And it's such a difficult thing because like, even though I love her, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, I definitely love her more than she loves me. And, as, uh, uh, and that's, like, a really hard thing to, like, I don't know, accept. But, yeah, I need to throw my feelings out. Like, I just feel like, the need to tell her every occasion I can that I love her because of how much she did for me and how much she helped me. Like, yeah, I just really needed her in my life. Like, I don't know what would be of me if I had never met her. And I'm, I am so thankful for that. Hmm. Ah. But yeah, like, I just can't keep telling her that forever. Like, I don't know, life is life. Like, like I'm pretty sure I may never see her again. Or if we see each other, it's going to be like, in a lot of years. And by that time, we won't be the same people we are right now.
It'll be difficult. Well, yeah. I'm just like really afraid of the day that I stop telling her that I love her. Because that, that'll be the day that I don't know my feelings. I forgot the point. What, I, what, what, what was I getting to? Like, I don't know. I feel like the day I stop telling her that I love her will be the day that my that a part of me dies. <laughs> Oh yeah. So is life. Cannot help it. I don't know, like, this is so weird. Why am I recording this video? Anyhow, like... I don't know, like... I may sound like depressed and definitely I have been depressed, like it has been such a difficult process for me because, I don't know, as I mentioned, it's the first time I generally fell in love with someone. It was someone who helped me, like just realize how much life is worth living, like how much fun it can be to spend your time with another person, how much, how, well, how amazing life can be in general. So yeah, like. I had never experienced such happiness in my life and just like to had to assimilate that life cannot be that way forever it has been like such a hard hit for me like mm -hmm. like I felt like I had finally found my reason to live, like my reason to turn that French you, my reason to be, like my reason to be. And in my mind, it had become like my reason to exist or to live is just like to see her happy. Like, I just want to see her smile. And seeing her smile is like what makes me truly the happiest. Because I am like the kind of person who doesn't really care about himself. But I really care about others. And especially the people I love. So. If the person I love is happy. That means I'm happy. But if the person I love is sad. That means. I w I'm like genuinely. Depressed. Because I don't know. I feel the emotions of others. Like hit me way more than my own emotions and yeah like <clears throat> just like finding a reason to live and like losing it right after yeah, it just made a mess out of me. Like, for a few weeks, I didn't feel like I was truly myself. Like, I felt like I was just like a husk, an empty husk who had taken my shape and was just like living my daily life. And I really regret that because that's time I could have spent with her. But it's also like, I know I couldn't help it because it's time I needed myself to like, get out of, of the, like, get all the bad emotions and sadness out of me. And once I managed to get through that, I don't regret anything. I spent my last weeks with her to the fullest. And I am so happy to have met her. I'm so happy to have lived. I am so happy to be alive. I am so happy and looking for, towards the future, even if, if it's without her. I don't know, I think I can manage now. Like, thanks to her.
I know that I'll be fine. I cannot express how happy, how loved, and just like so genuinely appreciated I feel I felt when I spent my time with her. I really need her. We needed her. And I am so happy that she was there for me and I was there for her. But yeah. <clears throat> In a way I'm like kind of happy that it didn't last longer because it had just become like I don't know how to explain it, like an addiction to me, like I had become so dependent on this other person that I remember at my lowest. <clears throat> at one point I just like texted her saying like, I cannot see myself living without you. Like at my lowest I was just like, my future without her was just like a big blank, like yeah, it was really bad, and I felt really bad for that, for telling her that. Because, yeah, I had gotten to the point of, like, dependency. Like, my mood, my happiness, my life had just, like, become so inter intertwined with hers. That I just, like, at the bottom of my sadness, I was just like, yeah, I cannot live if it's not with her, so... Yeah, why live? <laughs> I regret so many things. I regret all so many things. The most important one of them is like not spending more time with her. Like if I only didn't spend my time like being sad, locked up in my room, and just like spent it with her, I would be in so much. Well, I. I would be have so much less regrets than I do now. <sighs> Love is so difficult. But at the same time, like, it just makes my life so wonderful. something to drink I'll be right back okay found some pokari I can keep going so yeah I am happy <laughs> like I may not sound like it but I'm so happy for having lived the experiences that I lived thanks to her to have met her, like, it's insane how, like, little amount of time, like, two persons can become, like, so close. We were like, I don't know, like, we met, meet, we met each other for a total of, like, three, four two, three or four months, and yet it felt like a lifetime. And so we like, yeah. I don't know, I like to think like we both understood each other really well. Especially, I think a lot of 
<laughs> a lot of help like us get along so well was like we have the same horrible sense of humor like it's generally so fucked up and we both are the same so yeah <laughs> that fucking redditor <laughs> I had so much fun. I had so much fun. Never have I felt so loved. Never have I felt so happy. Never have I felt that life is worth living this much. Yeah. I can like definitely say like without a shadow of that, uh, that meeting that person has been the single best thing that has happened to me in my entire life. And like I'm really fearful of this goodbye. Like it was needed. It was eventually gonna happen. Like one just cannot keep look keep looking at illusions for the rest of red life. Like. Yeah. I don't know, like, I'm afraid of the day that I'll just, like, stop telling her that I love her. I'm so afraid of that day. Because, like... When telling each other, like telling someone that you love them and hearing an I love you back, there is no more. I don't know, there is no better feeling than that, like knowing that there's someone who cares about you and you care about them. And like love each other. Yeah, there's no better feeling that, like, than that. Like, yeah. Like just hearing an I love you before going to sleep like made me sleep like a baby. Like hearing those words or reading those words by a text message would be like I don't know, like just completely erase all and any of my worries away. Because I knew that I was loved. It reassured me. Because I am like such a doubtful person, like if I don't hear like exact words, I just like don't believe in it. And that's something so fucked up. So yeah, when... Eventually... Things happened, and I kept telling her that I love her. But she didn't tell me. They didn't say it back, or she didn't ignore my messages, saying that I love her, or I get another response other than I love you, like, it made me so sad, because, I don't know, like, yeah, that definitely means that at one point there was, like, a change in how she felt towards me. And I regret that so much, like, I don't know, it's unavoidable, like, why cry about it now, it's something that was eventually gonna happen. But, like, the thing is that knowing that her feelings changed, and yet mine didn't, messed me so badly, so, messed mess me up so badly. Like, even now I just, like, feel like telling her I love you every single chance I get. And it'll become so difficult. Because, like, yeah, we're not even living in the same country anymore. Like, I don't know if we'll see each other again, ever. So, yeah, like, I feel like if I keep telling her that I love her, it's just eventually gonna become, like, a weird thing. I don't know. Like, I genuinely love her, and I know that my feelings won't change. Maybe forever. Because, yeah, it's, I don't know, first love to do it like that, I guess. And, yeah, like, 
scared that if I keep telling her that I love her, it's eventually going to become like this weird thing. Like, imagine you spent like three months with a random ass Mexican guy. And years later, without seeing each other, he just keeps telling you that he loves you. Like, is that love? Or would that be like an obsession? Would that be wholesome? Or would that be like worrisome? I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Like, maybe it's both. I just love her. I love her so much. Why am I like this? Why, why do I love so strongly? Even if I know the feeling is not mutual. I love her. But I will never see her again. Maybe. Hopefully I will, but... Not anywhere in the near future. I had so much fun. I loved so much. I lived so much. Like life for the first time felt like I was living. Cause like I feel like if you get to the point like you feel like you feel that what you're living can't be called life. No, what I'm I'm forgetting my English. Like if you get to the point where like you feel like you aren't living, it means that you're not living life. And in the same way like if you feel like your love isn't love, that means that it wasn't meant to be. And through all this entire time I just like I felt alive. I felt like yeah I've I've been living. Like life is life. I have been living life for these past few months and in these past few months not even did a single time my love waver and it still hasn't like I can't say I'm loving I love what like how much of that love is egoism and how much of that love is selfishness. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not smart of a person or like emotionally smart as to know the answer for that. I just know that. I don't know, I'm fucked. <laughs> Messed up. Like, even after all, I still really love her. I love her. I love you so much. <laughs> Life will be so much more difficult without you. My days will be so lonely without you. But life continues. And... Even if it's, it isn't without me, I know that you'll manage just fine. Like, you have a lot of people who love you. You have a place to go back to. You have a lot of friends. You have a person to wait for. And yeah. Knowing that you're happy <laughs> will make me happy. Like, I just only ask that of you. Like, live a happy life. And if I know that you're living a happy life, in turn, I will do my best to try and live mine to the fullest. Even if it would help you, as hard as it may be, I will try my best. I 
promise that I will try to be my happiest and the best version of myself. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for letting me love you. Thank you for putting up with my selfishness. Thank you for putting up with all the horrible stuff that I said when I was at my lowest. And thank you for making my death brighter. Thank you for teaching me what love actually is. And thank you for teaching me that life is worth living. Thank you for teaching me to stop doubting myself. Thank you for teaching me how to stand straight and look up, look forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have really made so many things for me and I feel like I have done absolutely nothing for you. Nothing to deserve all of this. Nothing to deserve to have deserved your love. Yeah. I don't know, like, why are you so nat nice of a person? I have no idea, but I guess that's why I fell in love with you. <laughs> I had so much fun. I had so much fun. You have no idea. Like, yeah, this was definitely the best moment in my life. And I don't know what I'll do without you, but life continues and I get to sort my shirt, my shit out by myself. So, until we meet again, until, well, if fate wants to meet us again, I'm sure we will. Not in the near future, but eventually we will. We still need to settle that score. On Mario Kart, we still need to watch that one movie, and I still need to fucking discover what your Reddit post what was your fucking Redditor. <laughs> ah, I also still need to bomb the United Kingdom. <laughs> Anyhow, let's stay in contact. And I know you're a busy person, so. If you don't reply my message immediately, I know that you will. Wait, what did I say? If you don't reply to my messages I immediately, I know that you will eventually just like reply to them at your own time. Don't worry about it. Like as long as I know you're there living your life happily, I can keep going. So yeah, cheers for this period of our times. And goodbye. Oh shit, right, the sandwich, um, toast sandwich, um, it was good, I guess, it was such a, I didn't even notice the fucking sandwich, I was too lost in my own monologue, um, it was definitely salty, unique experience, um, Thank you for watching, subscribe, look forward to the next video, like uh, my coffee is me is linked on the description so you can donate for me to just like eat because I have no money and I have no food. <laughs> like I generally just ran out of money <laughs> and my family in Mexico is doing not really well so <laughs> this is such a horrible video. But. I need to upload it. I need to like show people how to cook a good toast sandwich. Anyhow, keep living what doing what's right to you for you. Keep living doing what's right for you and be happy. See ya. Stay safe. Goodbye.